Aloha and good morning everyone. Thanks for joining us on another Kaimana Conservation episode. Sorry about the hat, I have bedhead this morning and that is because I was not planning on making a video this morning. It is my birthday and therefore I was uh, expecting to just kind of hang out in bed and just relax all day. Uh, but my friends and Brian have planned a special day. Uh, so we woke up nice and early. It is uh, approximately 6.30 in the morning right now and uh, we're gonna go diving. Today is gonna be a little bit different. That's because we're gonna go with uh, two friends of ours, Scott and Danny, um, with B&B Scuba, and we are going to be taking out the scooters. If any of you guys are divers or are familiar with underwater scooters, they are quite the joyride. <laughs> uh, we just recently tried out scooters with Scott and Danny, and they are a blast. The purpose of a scooter is to actually speed up the journey to a location. So, for example, today we're going to be going to a dive site called Marty's Reef, uh, which is an absolutely gorgeous reef. I'm so excited to be going back there. Usually, you can only reach Marty's Reef by boat. Um, it's a little bit further out than you can kick or swim out, well, especially with scuba gear, it's quite heavy. Um, and if you go under, uh, you end up running out of air. So the nice thing about scooters is you just hop on your little scooter and it zips you out there, minimal effort, so you don't run through your air as fast, and then you can actually reach areas you would not be able to reach on a regular tank of air. So we are very excited. We're gonna go to Marty's Reef today. It was sprung on me this morning. I'm really stoked. Uh, so I figured I would bring you guys along one because you know when else am I gonna be able to go to Marty's Reef because the boats aren't running right now and two I thought it'd be fun for you guys to see like the preparation of the scooters and you know what those look like and hopefully get some fun uh, some fun footage of us zipping through the water it's so much fun I won't be able to do too much filming while we're actually scooting along and that's because there's actually a lot of water pushing against you there's a lot of drag but once we get there I'm hoping to really uh, take out the camera and show you guys Marty's Reef because it is not very big. Uh, it's a very uh, small area, especially compared to some of the other places that I've taken you guys, but the life on it is just incredible. It's like this little oasis surrounded by a giant sand patch. Just, there's all kinds of cool things to find in here and it's not frequented, so you know, there's a lot of cool stuff and not many people know that it's there. So, alrighty guys, well, um, we're getting ready to leave. We're getting ready to pack up the car, so I'm gonna stop filming now and I'll see you there.
right guys, we just got back from our dive. It was awesome. I know I always say that it was awesome, but Marty's really delivered. It always does. Uh, we took the scooters out at McKenna Landing and then went past the third finger and right on out to Marty's Reef. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to tell from the video footage just how condensed how small this reef actually is and just how much life there is on it. Uh, you get all the fun animals that are in the nooks and crannies. We had tons of eels. We saw big chungus which is a really terrible name for the giant eel that we saw there. Uh, this giant just absolutely massive eel. It's got the head the size of a football and it lives on that reef. So we were able to find him today so that was really exciting and uh, we had a little added bonus on the way back. We saw a flying gurnard fish Fish, which uh, if you don't know much about fish you're probably like what is that and why are you excited uh, flying grenards are pretty rare to find out here in Maui but they are really cool um, a lot like mud skippers and other fish like frogfish they've got uh, a set of fins on the bottom that are used a little bit more like feet and they rest on the bottom and they kind of use them to crawl across the sand but grenards are a little bit different than uh, those other fish because they have a set pair of wings a lot like flying fish out of the water but the grenards use them to kind of glide glide over the sand especially when they need to escape a predator and it helps them to make them look bigger so they're uh, more intimidating for predators but we came across this flying grenard on the way back it was beautiful it was also massive for a flying grenard which was pretty cool uh, but yeah we had a really good time today what better way to spend a birthday than to go diving so we just got back we just uh set out all the stuff I don't know if it uh, might be too bright, but you guys can see, set out all the stuff to dry. And uh, we're going to get cleaned up. We're going to go out for breakfast. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you guys around next time. Mahalo.